tisa. Genesis chapter 14, 17 and 20 on your screens, please, NIV version. Kitabu cha mwanzo kuminane msari wa kuminasaba hadi shirini katika runinga zenu utafsiri ya NIV. We can put King James today. Genesis chapter 14, verses 17 to 20. Kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya kuminane kwanzi ya msari wa kuminasaba hadi shirini. The first time he appears to Abraham. Mara kwanza kabisa ilipo jitokeza kwa Abrahamu. He says, and the king, of, the king of Sodom went out to meet him after he is returned from the slaughter of Kedoleoma and the kings allied that were allied with him, the kings that were with him at the valley of Shaveh, which is the king's valley. Anasemea kwamba Abrahamu aliporudi baada ya kumshinda mfalme wa Kedoleoma na wale wafalme waliojiunga naye, mfalme wa Sodoma akatoka kwenda kumlaki katika bonde la Shawe, yani bonde la mfalme. The king's tale, 18. Hivi ya basi kuminanane, bonde la mfalme. And Melchizedek, King of Salem. Ndipo Melchizedek mfalme wa Salemu brought forth bread and wine. Alipoleta mkate na divai. And he was priest of God most high. Alikuwa kuhani wa Mungu walio juu sana. 19 he says he blessed Abraham. He blessed him and said. 19 anasema akambariki Abrahamu akisema. Blessed be Abraham. Abarikiwe Abrahamu. Of the most high God. Can you put NIV is easier for them? And he blessed Abraham saying, Blessed be Abraham by God most high. Creator of heaven and earth. Remember how Melchizedek addresses God the Father. He calls him Elion. Elion. Keova Elion. Yehova Elion. God most high. Mungu sana. And remember also when the angel came to break news, to break the news to the earth, to Mary, she, she said that the one born will be the son of the most high, Elion. Sometimes, sometimes it's very important to pay attention to these details. And then you understand the link. You see now the line. You see the silver lining. And then he said, and he blessed Abraham saying, blessed be Abraham by God most high, the creator of heaven and earth. And praise be to God most high. Look at the way he's addressing God the Father. God most high. Who delivered your enemies into your hand. Then Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. So you see that expression of superiority. Abraham understood he was talking to a higher being. And so now, I want to share the following vision. There are quite a few visions I want to share here. The first one, in a dream, the Lord wrote a white piece of paper. He wrote on a white piece of paper. Then he said, Melchizedek's, capital letters, Melchizedek's day is known as the day of light. And so that should be a whole sermon on its own. What does the Lord mean Melchizedek's day? And what does he mean by saying the day of light? And what should be the instruction to the church in other words, you understand, to walk in the light. And so, again, he wrote in the dream in a, on a piece of paper, a white piece 
tena Bwana aliandika katika ndoto katika kipande cha upe cha karatasi and he said na akasema in captions katika herufi kubwa Melchizedek's day siku ya Melchizedek is known as the day of light inaitwa siku ya nuru and then he began to draw that piece of paper closer and closer and closer and closer in the dream towards me so i may read and it was very close less than one foot hivyo basi akaanza kuisongesha karibu 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 na karibu sana kabisa hiyo kipande cha karatasi hadi niliweza kuisoma kwa karibu kabisa kabisa and, and so kwa hivyo until i was able to read it hadi niliweza kuisoma and then after that i woke up baada ya hiyo kisha nikaamka and then i saw a vision the vision of melchizedek himself kisha nikaona maono ya melchizedek mwenyewe and in that vision he was seated at a place and there was light there was glory of the lord that lit up like a path towards him where he was seated like this na kisha katika maono hayo alikuwa alikuwa ameketi alikuwa ameketi kama mfalme na kulikuwaepo na utukufu wa bwana ambao ulikuwa umeangaza kabisa mahali pale namna hiyo mahali ambapo alikuwa ameketi namna hii kama mfalme and he has a crown na akona taji and then there was the glory of god that lit up the path to him the path to him na kisha utukufu kulikuwa na utukufu wa bwana ambao iliangaza ile barabara inayomwelekea kwake and then when i looked on my left i see somebody that was drinking halafu, drinking alcohol halafu wakati nilipotazama upande wangu wa kushoto nilimwona mtu ambaye alikuwa anakunywa pombe then he told me kisha akaniambia by voice kwa sauti melchizedek told me melchizedek akaniambia that god tell him to come ya kwamba nenda umwambie aje and as i turned then he spoke again kisha nilipogeuka akanena tena go tell him to come to me nenda umwambie aje kwangu and so when i turned i went to this guy that had alcohol a bottle it was glass bottle glass Hiv- a bottle in gla- of the glass type hivyo basi nilipogeuka nikamwendea mtu huyu ambaye alikuwa na pombe alikuwa na chupa ya glassi and then i told him kisha nikamwambia that the lord says go to him ya kwamba bwana anasema uende kwake then he said kisha akasema he looked at me and he lowered the bottle of alcohol down like this akaniangalia kisha akaishusha hiyo chupa ya pombe still holding it in his hand but he lowered it down akiwa ameshika mkononi mwake lakini akaishusha chini holding the mouth of the neck of the bottle akiwa ameshika ile shingo ya hiyo chupa and then he asked me kisha akaniuliza how can i go look like this i look like this ja, look, nina, look, nina, how can i go like this ninawezaje kwenda ona ninafanana namna hii ninakaa namna hii and then melchizedek spoke again kisha melchizedek akazungumza tena he said tell him to come just as he is akaniambia kwamba muambie aje kama alivyo tu then i turned to him i said the lord the king kisha nikamgeukia nikamwambia kwamba bwana mfalme says just go as you are anasema ya kwamba wewe nenda tu jinsi ulivyo that is when he left and he followed the path that was lit by the glory of god towards melchizedek hapo ndipo aliondoka akaifuata ile barabara ambayo ilikuwa imeangazwa kabisa kabisa na utukufu kuelekea kwa melchizedek but as he just began to walk towards the lord lakini alipoanza tu kutembea kuelekea kwa bwana it was amazing the glass the, the bottle fell off his hand ilikuwa ya kushangaza kabisa ya kwamba chupa hiyo ikaanguka kutoka mikononi mwake and then he went and i woke up na kisha akaenda na nikaamka and i know that is more about reaching out that's more a message of go tell them go tell them hivyo basi najua ya kwamba hiyo ni ujumbe unaohusiana na enda uambie nenda uambie leo because kwa sababu when melchizedek appeared as we have read in the book of genesis 14 wakati melkizedeki alipokuja kama vile tumesoma kwenye kitabu cha mwanzo 14 they could see him abraham could see him abraham aliweza kumuona and he carried he carried the, the, the bread and the wine naye alikuwa amebeba mkate na divai which are the precursors of the eucharist precursors of the holy communion precursors of the new covenant ambaye ndio viashiria ya meza ya bwana viashiria vya eucharisti viashiria vya agano jipya and if you look very carefully na ukiangalia kwa umakinifu zaidi he enters the scene like that that is the pre incarnate christ anakuja katika uwepo namna hiyo huyo ni christ katika nyanja he appears into the scene like that Ana ingia katika nyanja namna hiyo with bread and wine akiwa na mkate na divai and then he departs in the same way na kisha anaondoka katika njia hiyo hiyo by breaking bread and sharing the cup with them at the last supper kwa kuumega mkate na pia kushiriki
Ugiriki pamoja nao katika kikombe katika chakula cha mwisho. He entered with that covenant, the precursors of the new covenant, the bread and the wine, and he left at the last supper, last supper with the bread and the wine, then he departed. Alingia katika nyancha na hiyo agano jipi lile vya shiria vya agano jipia na kisha akatoweka katika meze mwisho pia vile vile na mkate na divai. Ok, akatoweka dunia nita fadhali, just be very careful, it's very easy, everything is very easy if you just listen, it's very very easy. It's not difficult at all. I just want them to get it so they can enter, enter the kingdom of God. So, he's saying very clearly here kwa hivyo anasema kwa wazi kabisa that he comes as pre-incarnate Christ. And he's carrying bread and wine to bless Abraham by God most high. And that is the very first time in the Bible when somebody appears with two offices, the priestly office and the kingly office. And yesterday I said that is the departure from the set norms within the Old Testament. And that's why he appears with bread and wine. He departs by breaking bread and sharing a cup of wine with them as he leaves the scene. Hivyo basi anakuja akiwa amebeba mkate na divai na wakati anapoondoka duniani anaondoka akiumega mkate na kushiriki pamoja nao kikombe cha divai. And he says do this at all times in remembrance of me. Na akasema kwamba fanyeni hivi kila wakati katika ukumbusho wangu. 